Good day all. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how uh, to calculate the maximum bending moment on a simple spot beam. This uh, diagram is from uh, my previous video in which we um, demonstrated how to analyze uh, this beam. And then uh, for those who haven't uh, watched that video, I'll put the link under the description. Uh, note that um, the maximum uh, bending moment occur where the shear force is equal to zero. And then uh, based on this diagram, the shear force is equal to zero between uh, B and C. As you can see here, uh, between B and C. And then uh, we are going to take the advantage of uh, a right angle um, formulas to uh, calculate this distance X from B to the point where the shape is equal to zero. And then um, this distance on top here will be eight minus X. Because uh, the total then is the total then uh, distance is eight meter. But if this is already x, this should be uh, eight minus x. And another thing you should uh, we must note here is this angle, this angle alpha, if you they call it alpha, is uh, is equal to this one here. Maybe we can also give him the name of alpha. Yes, so um, taking the advantage of right angle formulas, we can then say ten of this angle is equal to ten of this angle. So basically, and ten of this angle will be opposite side to the adjacent side. The opposite side is this one to the adjacent side, which is this one. And the value here of the opposite side is 76.875. So if you dot if you write that equation here, it will be 10 alpha equal to 76.875. Over x equal to four three one two five one two five over eight minus x. So let's develop this equation that will give us this will give us. 76 875 times 8 minus x equal to x. Um, let's put it on the other way 43x, then will be 43. One two five x. So, if you will develop it further, we will have seventy six. Seventy six times eight. Seventy six point eight seven five times eight equal to. It will be equal to six one five minus seven six eight seven five x minus four three. This will cross over and become minus one two. Five x or nine equal to zero. 
Now you, we would we will now solve this equation to find our x. So that equation now becomes six one five minus that will be minus seventy six seventy six point eight seven five. Minus forty three one two five. So this will give you now is one twenty x minus one twenty x minus one twenty x equal to zero. Solving for x, this will be equal to six one five divided by one twenty so x equal to six one five divided by one twenty this will give you five one two five meter so now x this x value is a distance from b to the point of where uh, the shape equal to zero but we need a distance from a from a point a this remember this is a point a a distance from point a and uh, from from point a to point b is two so we can easily uh, the this time we're looking for let's call it d is equal to x plus 2 which is equal to 7 plus my dot 125 now we need now to calculate the bending moment at the distance 7.125 and is where we are going to get our maximum bending moment. Let's uh, proceed. Bending moment at D equal seven one two five. So let's do it. M equal to the reaction at A so we reaction to that distance the reaction is 7, 6 8, 7, 5 times 7 1, 2, 5 minus the, the UDL will be 15 time 5 um, 1 2 5 square divide by 2 divide by 2 remember this is 5 2 because we only considering uh, we only consider the portion of the UDL before uh, the point of zero uh, shear force and that 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 is actually for, uh, the distance x and divide by two I mean, you're probably been wondering why did I say square it because I first take uh, 15 times that distance to get uh, the total load now times half of that section which is half of x that's why you see divide by two that's why divide by half of x. So it's like s times x divided by 2. That's why you see the uh, uh, a square. So we can now evaluate this uh, equation 76 and 875 times 7 and 125 minus 15 times 5. Point 1 to 5 square divided by 2 
so it's giving us uh, the maximum and giving us 350 174 kilo newton meter so this is our maximum bending moment <coughs> so this is how we uh, can evaluate calculate the uh, maximum bending moment of uh, a simple spot beam having drawn the shear for diagram thank you for watching and then um, see you in our next video subscribe to my channel share the share so that many can benefit from this video thank you